cascading style sheets. That's what CSS stands for. And all it does is it makes your website look good. That's just like the monkey term, I guess I could say it in. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can develop your CSS skills for, I don't care if you're a beginner, if you've been doing this, if you just want like a refresher, or if you're in the middle, I can still help you guys out. So, let's get straight into it. So here I am in my Visual Studio Code. This can be anything. Uh, I prefer Visual Studio Code. Sublime Text is something that people use also. Um... If you haven't seen my last, uh, first HTML video on how you can set up your Visual Studio Code, I highly recommend you do so, so you could install libraries like, uh, Live Server, and just, like, I don't know, get used to it, if you're just new to this. But if you're not, then let's go. So firstly, what we want to do is there are actually three ways that you could use CSS. Firstly is, I think the most common way that people do it, at least for beginners, so essentially what you do is you make a style tag so let's say we do under the body it's just called style and this is where you put in your style so let's say we have our body tag like so and we change the background color to white actually it's already white so we have to change it to something else yes in visual studio code there's a feature where if you hover over this little white stuff you can set to whatever you want inside I prefer the color black, which is, this is my favorite, it's like matte black, I memorize the hex color, and then color, this, this is a background color, you can also add color, so just do color equals, and I like to use hex colors for everything, yes, you could just type in white, or just type in red, that works too, I always like to use hex colors, a little shortcut for typing out white, instead of having to do all of this, you could just type in FFF. That applies for everything also so what this will do is this will set the background on my web page to black and then this will set all the fonts color to white so if we hop into if we just click go live here if you see on your video studio code if you don't click Control shift command shift on mac search up live server and then click open with live server and that should open up a new tab in whatever your default search engine is so mine is brave it really doesn't matter whatever yours is but as you can see the background is now black and the font color is white so you can change this to whatever you want so i'm going to change it to red really quickly so i changed the background to a blood red and you can just see it changed it i guess so that's how you just basically do background colors it's kind of the same way you do it regularly or if you thought you'd do it now i'll show you guys how you can change the font because the default font is times new roman and i don't know if you're a psychopath but i hate that font so if you go into your visual studio code here again you can go in the body and body encompasses everything so whatever you change the body it will happen to everything you can do it to specific divs also so if i do i don't know uh, let's just do this let's just see this we're just gonna apply it only to our big paragraph so over here it says class main content so what we want to do in order to access classes is add a dot dot main content and then enter make sure we add the end right here and you're also going to have to add this little semicolon after each line so now let's do font and that's family right here and i like the apple font apple dash system it would automatic it should automatically add like the semicolon if you have the libraries i told you guys to add if you don't then i guess it won't and you have to manually do it but anyways if we head over to the website you can see the font changed this is how it used to be used to be in times new roman and now it changed to apple font or whatever this font is i think it's roberto or something and yeah now i'll show you the other two ways that you could use css now one way is or the other way actually is what i like to call it the psychopath way instead of having a separate tag or a whole separate file for this which would be more organized you do it inside of the tag if you pull out with this onto my server i swear to god i will like lose my mind but it's basically this style equals and then quotation marks text align center and then you have to do this for each and every one you see how it's kind of annoying after I would have to do a style for this, a font size, blah, blah, blah. And I'd have to keep on doing that. It's kind of annoying, but 
once again nobody does this if you're like an actual professional web developer you know what i'm saying like you know where i'm coming from but yeah here's how it looks i guess over here you can just see the font was centered yeah that's it it works the same way that regular like it regularly does but it just looks a lot worse and i hate it okay so in order to do that you want to go up here to your head tag where your head is located and you want to just put in something like this which is a link tag and this will link it up i had to copy and paste it because this is way too much for me to memorize i know i know i have short term memory but see it says styles.css so let's create one saying styles.css and that's usually the default name for all style sheets and i'm just gonna take everything that we wrote here Control x Control v and then remove this all and you'll see the same exact thing happens it just refers to styles.css instead of looking down here and i'm gonna remove this because this is gonna make me throw up also there you go so now if we switch over you'll see that it looks the exact same okay besides for the like the text is in center because i removed that but your code is just a lot more organized now which you're welcome this is what i usually use when i'm doing it and now i'll move on to my next thing how you can just add radiuses and such so basically it may be a bit confusing but let's change up our button it looks a bit bland you might say so we're gonna add a class to it called btn or let's say sc b scroll btn lowercase s because we use camel case here if you don't know what it is it's basically just something like this and then we can do dot scroll or not slash dot scroll btn and then add that it should look something like this now what we can do is firstly let's add a border radius well actually a width because you're gonna need a width for something so now let's keep a hundred as a width not a hundred percent 100 px and then the height as let's say 25 px this may look terrible this may look amazing who knows i'm just saying this off the top of my head and you might have noticed it looks a bit different it looks a bit bigger so now let's actually change it up more we can do this by adding a color to it you know everyone likes colors we'll add hashtag fff and then we can add a background co background color as well let's keep it 141414 now if we go over here it looks a lot different you guys just saw it update it works the same but it just looks different because it's black on white uh, we can make it look more different so if we go into our visual studio code here let's add a border radius and this will add like this will make it a curved button basically so we can do a border radius of 15 15 per px so we'll just curve the edges by 15 pixels and as you see that's exactly what it did so you guys can mess around with this all you guys want. I mean, I will be making another video on it, on how you can make this entirely into a card so it looks a lot better. Like taking this to something like this, where, you know, you have animations, shadows, all of that. Like, you know, you could scroll on this. Hold up. Scroll on this. And this took me a couple months to learn. So I think all you guys can get there. But yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy, please hit like and subscribe. I'm trying to get to 2,000 subscribers, actually 10,000, but like, yeah. Anyways, till next time, go stick out. See ya.